Hi there. Now, this is a follow-up to the previous video in this series where I talked to you about small angles theta, which were measured in radians. If we took a small angle theta, then I showed you that you could approximate sine theta to theta, tan theta to theta, and cosine of theta to 1 minus theta squared over 2. And using these approximations, what I'm doing here is taking some fractions with trigonometric functions and want you to find the limit as theta tends to zero in these two and as x tends to zero in these two. And what we'll be seeing is that if, for instance, we've got sine theta is approximately the same as theta, then if theta is small, angles like sine 2 theta would be approximately the same as 2 theta. The cosine of say 2 theta, that would be approximately the same as 1 minus 2 theta all squared divided by 2, and so on. So using that idea, see if you can work out what the limits of these four are going to be. OK, well, for number one anyway, let's just start with that. This is going to be approximately the same as, well, for cos 3 theta, as I say, all you've got to do is replace theta here with 3 theta. So you get 1 minus all of 3 theta, that's squared, divided by 2. And then we've got this minus 1 here, and then all of that is divided by theta times, and the approximation for sine 5 theta will be 5 theta. So cleaning this up, the 1's cancel, we're left with negative 9 theta squared over 2, and that's divided by 5 theta squared. The theta squareds cancel, multiplying top and bottom by 2 gives you minus 9 tenths. OK, so hope you're able to see how to do that one. And 2, 3 and 4 done in similar ways. So for number 2 here, What's the limit as theta tends to zero of sine 2 theta plus tan 4 theta all over 3 theta? Well, sine 2 theta just is approximately 2 theta when the angle theta is small. And for tan 4 theta, that will be just simply 4 theta. And this will be divided by 3 theta. So we end up with 6 theta divided by 3 theta which is going to be approximately 2. And for number 3, we've got the limit as x tends to 0 now for 3 tan x minus x all over sine 2x. So for this one, tan x here is going to approximate to x, so we're just going to have 3x there minus the x, and then that's divided by the approximation for sine 2x will be 2x. So what we've got here is 2x divided by 2x, which is going to be 1. Now, lastly, we've got the limit as x tends to 0, then, of x squared plus sine 4x all over 2x minus sine x. And so this is going to be approximately, well, that's going to just remain as x squared. And then for sine 4x, that approximates to 4x. And then this is divided by... 2x and the minus sine x approximates to minus x. Now for this one, I'm going to factorise the top here. Pull out an x as a common factor, and you've got x bracket x plus 4. And then that's divided by 2x take away x, which is just x. The x's cancel, leaving me with x plus 4. And I could leave it like that, or... If I take x to be tending towards 0, then this will be approximately 4 for small x. OK, so I hope that's been able to give you some idea then how you can use these approximations for small angles of theta. Remember, theta must be measured in radians in order to approximate functions like these. All right.